What's up, my bitches? This is uh, Jake Jones, Back from the Dead, your favorite YouTube misanthrope. And I'm here to talk about morality. I don't even need these. Specifically, um, you know, personal morality, where it comes from, uh, what my view of it is. Um, first of all, I think morality is not as complex as people make it out to be. It can be difficult, um, but I've always maintained that as long as you have, you know, a, a sort of guiding conscience, you might call it, uh, leading you through obstacles, uh, that you can overcome whatever uh, obstacle that may be. Morality, I do think, is very simple, and I think if people thought, uh, thought it through past the programming, you know, what we've been conditioned to think by an amoral and in many cases immoral society, uh, then we'd be a lot better off if we respected certain moral boundaries. Um, obviously, there's the libertarian anarchist view of let, let freedom reign, uh, let people do whatever they want, pretty much, as long as they don't uh, interfere with somebody else's business uh, unwillingly. And that that's based on the idea of consent universally. And, and I can get on board with that as a, as an overriding principle. Um, I, but I always viewed it in a more realistic light. I always viewed it as like, you know, the elites are going to do whatever the fuck they want. So, you know, I might as well do whatever the fuck I want and just, and that, that, that's what it's going to be. Um, now some might call that defeatist or nihilist and to, to a certain extent it is understanding that people are, you know, the human species is practically unsavable, um, as a whole. Because no matter how you slice it, uh, there's always collateral damage. There are always casualties. Every single day, month, year, every historic event, every society has had its ups and downs. And it's, and it's weeded out the weaklings. You know, that's, uh, that's that little slice of social Darwinism for your ass. And now I think a lot of people are coming to grips with that and some choose to accept it and some will deny 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 to the death i accept it i'm a huge fan of accepting uh the hand that nature deals us um i i just don't want government or whoever to make it more difficult on me now of course that's an unrealistic expectation um there will always be difficulties in life. There will always be hindrances. Uh, there will always be haters who don't want to see you succeed and achieve your goals. And you know, what the fuck is a goal anyway? It's like, yeah, I got a few goals. I could tell you about them, but they would take longer to describe than to actually do them. And one of the key tenets of my morality is I'm a big fan of like the, the proverb actions speak louder than words because we know that to be a fact in any given case people don't like like words are nice words are great I love words I'm a huge language guy uh, but but actions are always gonna trump whatever even like the cleverest wordsmith is going to be outdone by his actions every single time. So, you know, you hear the, those old rap songs like N-Words talking shit, etc., etc. A lot of it really is that. That's like most of the game is people just talking shit and failing to live up to it, you know? And they make excuses. And they have their little distractions. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that inherently when it comes to your life. But I do think... It squanders a lot of potential for the species. And, you know, I'm sort of dead into that in a way. Um, 
But I also have this very healthy idea that if I can just make everything in my life funny for better or worse, um, that means that that means mentally I'm practically unstoppable. And uh, that that was that's a goal. Um, and now, where does morality come from? Some people think it comes from a divine creator. Um, I don't buy it. Um, I think it comes from us. I think everything that humanity believes, all of our beliefs are a construct of either of either our society, you know, the, the humans that came before us, which we then use to mold into our own philosophy. Or, you know, just we just take things that we have and then we create our beliefs, right? So there's a difference. Uh, Patrice O'Neill, the, the late great comedian, he, he had a quote that is really just spot on. He, he, uh, I, I'm, I'm paraphrasing, but he said something like, uh, uh, have your, you can have your beliefs, but don't let them have you. I'm pretty sure that's verbatim, actually. Uh, have your beliefs, don't let them have you, is what he said essentially. And I think I, I think that's that's pretty much the best we can do. Uh, you know, if you're gonna have beliefs, they're nice, but in the end, they're just they they're a hill of beans. They don't really mean shit if you're not willing to, you know, put in the work, uh, to be seen as exceptional, right? You know, you, you, I, I feel that I owe it to myself and to everyone I know, even the assholes, even people who don't, who, who, who I feel don't even deserve to be in my presence, but you run into them and I feel like, I feel like the, the only debt that I owe is the debt to myself is to like reward myself with higher goals and higher ambitions so that that good karma expands to whoever I come into contact with. I'm a huge believer in like positive vibes and shit. And I don't even think it's spiritual. I don't think it's like religious or anything like that. I think it's literally just like the frequency that we operate on. So, you know, it's actually like, that's the, I mean, that's the best way I could describe it. And, you know, I'm cool with their, like, being a god as long as he's not, like, the uh, the god in the Old Testament who, like, says you can't wear mixed fabrics. Hello. Or, uh, you know, you can't, uh, you can't, you know, you know, if you're gay, you're, you're, you're an abomination. Or if you, you know, if you don't show up to church on Sunday, you get stoned to death. I mean, all that shit's in the Bible. So... You know, Christians and, you know, religious people in general, they've had to do a lot of, like, a mental gymnastics to justify what a lot of the scripture says. And they'll always say, like, oh, that's not what it really means. Yeah, okay, bro. Okay, bro. But they'll take the whole stories literally, but they'll pick out the bits and pieces when you point them out. They'll just be like, oh, yeah, I think, oh, I, hold, hold on. Let me, let me talk to God about that. I'll get back to you, bro. It's like, yeah, no, you won't. Uh, but hey, if you want to believe that, then 100%. <clears throat> I mean, I, I I just think that it, it, it has nothing to do... I don't think, I know, it has nothing to do with morality at all. Whether you're religious or not, whether you believe in God or not, that is irrelevant. And if there is a God, I would just hope that it stays that way. But I don't know the nature of this so-called creator. So, and I, and I wouldn't presume to know either. Um, because it's not my idea. It's somebody else's idea. So I guess, I guess maybe, um, w without using too many ists, sort of a, like a nihilist, humanist, uh, you know, abolitionist, abolition of the slavery that we're currently in, not the previous form. Um, absurdist, right? Little romantic, Little little touch of cynicism. It's like a pie, you know. It's like baking a pie. That's all it is. It's like just add your little spices and 
fragrances and get the pot going, put it in the oven. Just that's that's your that's that's morality, dude. And that's why I'm so good at offending people too, because like people take themselves so fucking seriously. That's like, oh, if you question their religion or if you question like their preconceived notions of how uh, of how the world works, there's oh, they get instantly. Like, dude, if you really believed it, you wouldn't be offended by it, right? But here's the thing. I think the less you believe, the more open you are to, like, a whole host of ideas. So, you know, I'm a big fan of, like, open-mindedness and just, like... uh, And also just, like, one of the things I've been working on recently is, like choosing my battles more carefully uh because you know for a long time i was just this hammer like just banging down on every single topic i could get my hands on like oh my god the gun control oh my god uh, it was just like flavor of the week or day or whatever news stories like oh i have to respond to this oh it's like no you don't you don't have to have a fucking opinion on everything dude like, you're not that guy. You're not that political analyst. I mean, people get paid for that shit. If you're going to do that, you might as well at least get paid for it. But, alas, people take it upon themselves when that's not their fucking thing. When they should be working on, you know, fucking uh, bug collecting or, you know, uh, stamp collecting, race car driving, you know, hockey dildo practice, glass blowing, whatever whatever your your craft it's like life's too fucking short for this shit, man. This fucking it really is like this fucking like back and forth on Twitter. You think you think anybody gives a shit? Nobody gives a shit what you think, dog. But all I'm saying is just let things be. And that's what the government refuses to do. And, I, and by the government, I'm not even talking about nations anymore. I'm talking about, like, global shit. Because it's so obvious now that that's what it is. It's a bunch of fucking global interests converging and hijacking democracies, basically. So, you know, I could get into that, but I'm, I just... I don't have it in me. I just want to make jokes and... uh. And I want to do what I'm good at, and I want to get even better at it, and I want to just double down, triple down, just just go hard these next few years, because that's what I have to do in order to get where I want to be, and you know, achieve, uh, you know, do do what I'm supposed to do, right? So you know. So, you know, that's my view of it, you know, morality and shit. You know, leave people the fuck alone in general. Maybe, like, like I, I think local government is a good thing. Uh, I think, you know, rights are, they need to be agreed upon in a sort of constitution-like document. Obviously, uh, the, the government has completely disregarded that for like decades now. There's no, there's practically no constitution to speak of, uh, except when people find it convenient for themselves. The nice thing is about America, and really the only saving grace, as far as I can tell, is the is First and Second Amendments. You know, just like say whatever the fuck you want, and if the government don't don't like it, you fucking shoot them. It's like, hey, well, you, that's that's just how it is, dog. Like I'm not, I I don't have to advocate anything. I'm not advocating violence i wouldn't i don't have to because it's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes it's like i didn't ask for the fucking uh george floyd riots i didn't ask for the you know the capital shit to happen it just happened because the establishment that's what they were asking for literally you reap what you fucking sow there's a fucking biblical reference i tossed out for you Right? So, yeah. It's uh, some crazy shit in our world, man. 
it's a crazy fucking world and and it's just good it's good to just be a sort of an outside spectator okay I like because I, I want to be dumb I want to be like like I just want to like not be involved with this species as much as I fucking can and I'm just doing what I have to to make money to to live my life to have my own little uh enclave you know with with people I trust uh sort of you know don't trust anybody that's the first rule of the streets obviously I mean shit I'm from shy you know you know how get you know we get down and dirty sometimes so you know, don't trust anyone, even even the people you say you trust or do trust to an extent. Uh, but you got to be completely independent. I mean, there's no there's no other avenue uh, to success, and that's just you know you got to be willing to, to sometimes play the game. But as soon as that game turns on you, is you you know you you got to be able to say fuck you and take your ball. And and leave and and go find another court, you know, because sometimes they, you know, that's just what happens. That's just how these snakes move. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be willing to do what other people aren't willing to do. The workload you gotta be willing to take that shit on. You know the workload that other people aren't are, aren't willing to take on. Um, you gotta like. You just gotta go harder than anybody in the game. Whatever it is you do, whether it's like. You know, making croissants or whatever, or like knitting, sewing, fucking candles, I don't, whatever. Like, that's your skill. That's your gift. And that's how you start, that's how you start a business. So, you know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going to happen because it's all, com it's all fun and games to me. This is all comedy. And... My morality really is on a, on a vibe level. So I don't even really have to have strong beliefs because I know that when I make somebody laugh, when I, you know, when I make somebody feel good in that way, it's like, dude, that's, that's the world. That's like, you, you got it. The whole world's in your fucking palm. When you can do that, it's fucking magic, you know? And I just always found that to be you know, that was my spirituality and morality is just, you know, kind of like a, you know, like the Buddha almost, you know, hopefully I don't get as fat as him, but you know, whatever. <laughs>